Hey everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. I am a little bit sick, which is why my voice sounds a little bit weird today, but we're just gonna roll on with it. Um, today's video, if you have been around my channel for a little while, might not feel like something that is as useful to you, just because if you've been watching me for a while, you definitely, as you've seen from the title, already probably know a lot about whether you would need a, a backpack or a tote style bag. So this video is one, like please send it to a new mom who might be trying to find uh, her like perfect diaper bag. Um, because I think that this video could be super helpful. It's one that I would have enjoyed seeing when I was trying to figure out what type of bag might be best for me when I became a new mom. So that's what I wanna to do today. I wanna to kinda of talk about why you might choose to have a backpack diaper bag over a tote or vice versa. I think I have a pretty good list here of like the pros and cons of each one. I'm not going to be giving any suggestions of like what you should do. I'm just gonna lay out the pros and cons. You keep a little checklist if you want to and hopefully it'll help you decide which of these types of bags might be best for you. So I'm gonna be comparing a backpack style bag like this one, this is the Limea brand Nylon Sophie. Um, if you don't know, I am the owner of Limea brand. It is my own brand of high-end leather and nylon and vegan leather bags and accessories. I'm gonna be using my own bags today as examples, but of course, no matter what brand you're purchasing, they usually have both backpack and tote styles. We're just gonna be using Limea as the example today. So this is a kind of, every video where I hold a bag, you might not always see it because I usually chop it out, but there's always a moment where I hit myself in the face with the bag. Um, when I say backpack style bag, I mean the kind that has backpack straps for going on the back. And we're going to be comparing that with a tote style bag. This is what we usually mean when we talk about totes. This is something that will go over the shoulder or potentially has a messenger strap to go cross body. This is the Limea brand Charlie Tote in On Point, which is black leather. Um, and again, this is not the kind of bag that can go backpack style. I'm not gonna be talking today about conversion bags, ones that can go into backpack mode, even if they are a tote, but I will kind of talk about some of my thoughts on that as we get into the video. So with that said, let's have a quick word from our sponsor, which is thesensiblemama.com, and then we'll get right into the video. The Sensible Mama is an online baby boutique for babies, toddlers, big kids, and moms. Our warehouse is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are mama-owned and mama-operated. Our website, thesensiblemama.com, is a place where you can find all of the best-known names in the industry researched by us. We are also the home of Limea Brand, which is a high-end line of diaper bags, sunglasses, and accessories designed by me with busy moms on the go in mind. While you're there, make sure you sign up for our Sensible Reward Program or apply for the affiliate program to start earning money either through cash back in the store or directly deposited to your bank account. Lastly, make sure you're following The Sensible Mama on Instagram to be ahead of the game for all store news and product launches. And with that said, let's get right back into today's content. So I'm gonna start with backpack style bags because I do think this is the kind of bag that new parents tend to gravitate towards when they're picking out a diaper bag. We're gonna go through the pros and cons of a backpack style bag first. I do think that new parents tend to gravitate towards a backpack style bag because their first thought is I can be hands-free. And while that is very important and it is definitely a pro of a backpack style bag, I think there's a lot more to be considered than just being able to be hands-free. Backpack style bags actually bring a whole lot to the table in addition to that, right? So the first one is they're great if you need to front wear your baby. If you're using a full buckle carrier or you're using like a, a wrap, um, it's really awesome because you can wear a backpack style bag while still having your baby on the front. I have a video somewhere on my channel. If I can find it, I'll put a clip of it right here. But I was going to visit a friend and I was going through the airport with Roman who was very small at the time. And I loved that I could put him in his full buckle carrier and put on my backpack over that and actually kind of loop the straps over the straps of my full buckle carrier. And I felt so balanced <laughs> and so comfortable. It made going through the airport just a breeze. So that was a definite, definite pro, especially when you have little ones that are going in that front carry position, just be able to pop your backpack over that. The other thing that's really nice about a backpack style bag is that it distributes the weight across both shoulders, which is something to really be considered if you have back, neck, or shoulder pain. A tote style bag or a messenger style bag like the Charlie Tote uh, can start to put a lot of pressure on your shoulder or on this one if you're going cross body and can even kind of 
create misalignment in your spine if you don't have a lot of back and core strength. So a great thing about a backpack style bag is that it keeps you very balanced and it distributes that weight really nicely, especially if you have a bag. Um, like I strongly recommend 12 Little as a, as a first diaper bag, especially their companion or their on the go bag because these have got such nice padding in the straps and they're nice wide straps. Um, it distributes that weight really nicely and doesn't feel like it's pulling down on you so bad. I think one of my favorite things as a mom of older kids that I like about backpack style diaper bags is that it is a lot easier to fit big tall cups like these. Uh, when you try to stick a tall cup, even like a pure stainless cup, which you can use as a bottle or as a sippy cup, inside of a tote, sometimes it starts to look a little bit silly. If you've got a really short tote and you've got a tall cup, it just like sticks out. It looks like a horn sticking out of the top. It's just not as easy to carry like a really big cup in a short, small tote style bag. So backpacks are really great if you're carrying like a Brewmate or a Yeti or even some of those taller sippy cups for children. They just fit a little bit more nicely inside of the bottle pockets of a backpack style bag. And lastly, I think a really nice pro of backpack style diaper bags is they make great travel bags down the road. If you're taking a like a quick flight or you need just like a little travel bag for taking a car ride somewhere, an overnight bag, uh, these backpacks tend to work really nicely for travel, which I think is, is a great plus. If you buy a nice uh, high quality diaper bag backpack, you can keep on using that for travel throughout the years and it's a great investment. Now I wanna talk about the cons and I think these are things that people don't think about when they think about buying a backpack diaper bag and these to me are a bit like a big deal. <laughs> um, the first one is that if you're packing inside of a backpack style diaper bag, you're gonna have to do vertical packing, which means like at some point you're going to have to stack things on top of each other or else if you put everything down in the very bottom of the diaper bag, then you have all of this upward vertical space that you're doing nothing with. Um, so a lot of times you end up like shoving blankets or jackets or stuff up there and then you have to pull those things out to get to the other stuff at the bottom. I've just always found diaper bag backpacks to be as convenient as they are, they can also be very frustrating in terms of trying to find the things that are inside of the bag. Particularly, again, when you're having to do this vertical packing, uh, a thing I didn't even write down here, often you have to pack with pouches inside of these backpacks because otherwise there's really not, how do you use all of that vertical space in the bag? It's easier if you put everything in pouches and then kind of stack the pouches up. Now, when you have to get into something, you not only have the thing that you need, but you have the pouch that, it, that it's inside of and it's a mess, right? Um, so I just tend to find that vertical packing and packing in general inside of a diaper bag backpack can be just not as convenient as it is in a tote. Second, this is my biggest frustration with diaper bag backpacks and it's hard to find one that this doesn't happen to. If you pack a diaper bag backpack up full, it's probably gonna tip over. They get top heavy, uh, especially the bigger ones like the Jujube Be Right Back. The 12 Little On The Go is pretty notorious for this. They just, they'll just tip right over. Um, one that I found didn't do that very much of the bigger bags was the Itsy Ritzy Boss. Because it's got like a, a tire tread on the bottom, it kind of stays nice and heavy on the bottom and doesn't tip over as much. When you get into the midsize and smaller backpacks, like the like the Sophie, which is a midsize backpack, those are less likely to tip over. But when you're dealing with a bag that goes up high, if you have anything towards the top that's heavy, it's gonna tip over and that can be very frustrating, especially if you have cups that are not necessarily all the way leak proof, or if you've got like sunglasses or glasses sitting in the front pocket and the bag tips over and breaks your glasses, that can be very frustrating. This is just a matter of personal opinion, but I do not like the way that backpacks hang on strollers. I just don't like the way that they look and also it's harder to get in to your things because once again, like if you open up that backpack, especially if it's like Jujubee, the Be Right Back that has zippers that go all the way down to the bottom, one mistake, zipping that zipper down too far and it comes open, everything in the bag is just flying right out. So I do feel like not only aesthetically, I just don't love the look of a backpack hanging on a stroller as much as I like the way a tote looks, I also just find that, again, it's less easy to get into than a tote style bag when it's hanging on a stroller. Uh, another thing, just a practical matter, you cannot wear babies on your back if you're carrying a backpack, unless of course you wanna wear the backpack on your front. So just something to think about there. Uh, and lastly, just a small matter, um, if you're out at a very busy crowded place like an airport or a theme park or something like that with that bag on your back, if you have anything valuable in there, since you can't keep an eye on your bag, you're likely 
you're more likely to get things stolen. So just something to think of. So I think that about does it for the pros and cons of a backpack style diaper bag. Let's go ahead and talk about the tote now. One thing that I think is a big pro of tote style bags is you can front or back carry with them. Since this bag is gonna go over your shoulder, you can really easily carry your baby on the front or on the back. And again, something that I've always appreciated is if you're using a full buckle carrier, like a Lilla baby that has a nice thick strap, those tote straps can kind of go nicely over the strap of the full buckle carrier and kind of lock it into place where it's not falling off of your shoulder, which is really nice. When it comes to packing styles, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the face, Horizontal packing style is where it's at. It's my favorite way to pack and it, you can really only do that in a tote style bag. Horizontal packing means you're basically not having to stack things on top of each other. When you open up a bag like that's tote style, you can look down into it and you can see everything inside of the bag. You're not having to pull things out to get to other things because the, the economy of the bag is going out this way instead of this way. So it just feels a little bit easier to look inside the bag and immediately see what you're looking for and pull it out. Related to that, I do think that tote style bags tend to have a better layout and organization structure to them than a backpack does. There's just more space for putting pockets and little like nooks and crannies to store things in. So you're less likely to have to use pouches, which if you're not a pouch packer, this is really great. Um, these, these tote style bags just tend to be a little bit more easy to include more pockets inside of, um, which lends itself not only to better horizontal packing, but pouchless packing and just, I think, using your space more economically. I'll say that. Kind of going back to the stroller thing that I talked about with backpacks, I just love the way that tote style bags hang on a stroller. They sit nice and high up near the handlebars, which is really useful. You can open them up nice and wide and see right into them. If you're carrying cups and bottles and things like that, it's easy for your kids to kind of come up and reach in and grab them out. And aesthetically, I just prefer the way that a tote style bag hangs on a stroller. And I've also found, this just came into my mind, um, a lot of times if you have a, a stroller that's not very heavy, that doesn't have a lot of weight to itself, and then you put a heavy backpack on it, if there's not a kid in the stroller, I have had strollers just completely tip over before. And I've found that for some reason it tends to happen to me more when I have a backpack style bag than when I have a tote. That's just been personal experience, but I've found the backpacks do tend to flip the strollers over when there's not a baby in the seat more than totes do. One other just small matter when it comes to theft, it is a little bit easier to keep your eye on your belongings when they're here underneath your arm or crossbody than when you're on your back. So just something to make note of if you're in a crowded space, sometimes having a tote style bag, you can feel a little bit more secure because it's there and you can keep your eyes on it. Um, the last thing that I would mention is I do think that tote style bags, whereas backpack style bags tend to work really nicely as travel bags down the road, tote style bags tend to work really nicely as work bags one day. So if you're investing in something like the Charlie Tote, which is a really nice high-end leather bag, and you're wanting it to be a lifelong piece that you always have, and you're planning on going back to work one day, this would be a really nice choice to have because you can use it to put your laptop inside of and all your work belongings and use it as a work bag. So that means uh, now we need to talk about the cons of a tote, and I do think that there are several that are very notable. Um, number one, as I mentioned before, they can be uncomfortable on your back and on your shoulders, especially if it's packed up really heavy and you've got it on one shoulder, like using the tote straps. That can really start to weigh you down after a little while and even create some back pain from having one shoulder kind of slumped down a little bit. It's just, even for me, I'm a relatively fit person and I can find that to begin to hurt after a little while. Unless the tote has a converter to make it go into backpack style, you're never gonna be able to carry that bag as a backpack. Um, whereas a lot of backpacks, like the, the Limea brand Sophie, comes with a little strap where you can put it over the shoulder if you want to, most tote style bags cannot be made into a backpack style bag. And in my opinion, matter of personal preference, most tote style bags that have a conversion on them where you can turn them into a backpack, don't really look or feel nice in backpack mode. I, I find that they tend to sit awkwardly. Um, they kind of pull back on you a little bit and they, they just look weird. Like for aesthetically, they don't look right on the back. Matter of personal opinion, but I'm just sharing that with you. That's personally why I have chosen not to make the Charlie tote into a backpack conversion because it's just really hard to take a tote and make it look nice as a backpack. Um, again, just a matter of personal preference. 
I, I actually had a hard time making a list of cons for the totes, so this is my last one. If you have more, leave them in the comments. I, I just personally love tote style bags, so it's hard to come up with negatives of them, but the one that I will say, in contrast to the, the backpack style bags, is that tall cups really can look kind of silly inside of a tote style bag that's really short. So again, like if I'm carrying something like a, a short coffee mug or something like that, that's gonna look really cute inside of my tote, um, but a taller, a taller cup definitely looks strange inside of the smaller tote style bags. And again, that's not to say that totes are smaller. I guess I should say they're shorter. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please always feel free to leave your own thoughts down in the comments. This is a community. It's a place where other moms can come and share their own opinions and their own advice. So if you have your own thoughts on any of these things, please leave them down in the comments below. And of course, if you know a pregnant or new mom who is trying to make a decision about what kind of diaper bag to get, send this video to her so that hopefully it can give her a better idea of what she needs. Love ya, mean it always, and I'll see you in the next one.